So do you think um, Andrew Berry looks to improve, you know, some of the areas where um, the Browns are, you know, thin, let's say, um, with those from other teams or, or potentially by trade? Is there a way they can potentially get some depth, maybe, I don't know, a linebacker, for instance? For sure. To me, this time of year is always follow the injuries. And the two spots the Browns have had unforeseen injuries in is the tight end room with Steven Carlson. And then, of course, a kicker with Cody Parkey. I would be surprised if you don't see more kickers coming in out of Berea. And there's another one on this roster at some point, And this could possibly go into September. And I know fans don't want to hear that. But when the kicks really start mattering, like literally in the standings and in a t- team that is going to be in tight games looking for a divisional win looking for wild card standings possibly these are going to be some crucial pressure filled kicks that the browns will face and who knows if that guy's on the roster right now of course the browns are going to believe in who they whoever they deem the starter but those kicks are when it's on the line that's when as a as a special teams person who has seen plenty of tough kicks in, in minnesota it, you, you can't really tell much in the preseason, especially when you have an unforeseen injury like this. And then when you look at the tight end room, we know the importance that Kevin's fancy puts on that. That's how we started the segment talking about at the top. Johnny Stanton has really become now a two way guy for them. Now, is he a fullback? Is he a tight end? He was doing both uh, on Sunday. Are they comfortable with him filling the role of Stephen Carlson? Or are they going to make another move there? Follow the injuries. But again, this is, team is so deep as it is the Browns are going to be sellers just because of the depth more than buyers come cut day. Yeah, and, and you know, you mentioned Stanton. So Stanton's a guy that you could see playing tight end, you could see playing fullback. That kind of saves a roster spot, if you will. You've got Demetric Felton, same thing. Wide receiver could be that in a pinch. Running back could be that in a pinch. Um, again, that's those are feathers in the cap of the personnel and, and Andrew Berry to find guys like that. I completely agree, and it's the future of football, the, the positionless trend this is all headed towards. But the flip side of Demetric Felton's versatility, well, let's keep it there, is players like perhaps Cordell Hodge now become victim to his versatility because you're not going to keep seven wide receivers even though you can consider Felton both running back and receiver. You know, like if Dernis Johnson, Cordell Hodge, and JoJo Natson are all on this team, uh, then they're thin in other places, maybe not keeping as many D linemen. It, it just the skill position talent, though versatile, still becomes problematic when you talk about guys who don't have that same versatility. There's, it's only 53 at the end of the day.